always wanted him to sit in the broken one because we, if he fell, it'd be hilarious. <laughs> and he always, he, he always knew which one. Well, one time he acted like he didn't know and he's about to sit down and all, we gave it away. We were terrible. We couldn't play poker because we were all just watching. And he grabs the chair because he saw the splinters and he bangs that chair on the desk and it shatters the rest of the, the leg. And we all kind of look at each other and then he just starts laughing. He's like, you almost got me on that one. You know, you know um, he, he's just got, and his wife is awesome. She's amazing. Uh, um, definitely. Uh, takes care of him and you know they have that yin and yang relationships that you that you always strive for well i mean it sounds like even you know way, way back when he was really investing in you guys and that's why you know you have that relationship and, and all those fond memories and i mean that's exciting to hear a, a guy that is now doing it at the highest level playing for you know coaching for the the championship at the highest level invested in guys you know way back when uh just a couple of years ago oh it, it, you can tell those guys want to play hard for it you know they they know he has their back and he's all about be honest with him and he'll take care of you. It, you don't give him the whole straight. Um, he, he doesn't like being surprised going in any meetings. <laughs> you know, did, did, did you miss your tutor? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear about you missing your tutor or not going to class. You know, uh, he was always the first one in the in the the facilities and the last one to leave but well, you know he's, he's a man football. he's a man of detail and that's one thing that got you to mizzou was uh your name is not trey it's your nickname <laughs> yeah I, tell I, that story I, about him calling and your sister answering the phone i mean that that's psychology so, right there and that's what i mean <laughs> right you, yeah you, you got to use that's psychology. actually a great example no um my real name is John Fraser O'Neill III, okay? And all through high school, my mom gives me trouble because they, they called me Trey growing up. And then when I got to kindergarten, I said, well, I want to go by John like everybody else. There were like three Johns in the kindergarten class. And um, so I went by John all through high school. Uh, but back then, when you're getting recruited, people called call the house phone. Well, I stopped answering after my sophomore year. Right? You know, it was like... Was it a push button or rotary? Time, <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> the, cord was, the cord was connected to the phone that was on the wall. Wow. Best <laughs> days in the world. We could control our kids' phone. conversation. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> right? Um, well, when my sister would answer the phone, my mom would answer the phone, they'd ask for John O'Neill. And they say, sure, hold on, Trey Telephone. Well, Coach Reed was the only one to pick that up. So every time Coach Reed called the house, he called me Trey. So my mom, my family loved him right off the bat. I think that speaks to, you know, how you talked about he was a detail-oriented guy. You know, him picking up on that. I mean, to a 15, 16, 17-year-old kid, that's a huge deal. When you call me by my nickname, not necessarily my given name, that's on this piece of paper you're reading. What my family, my mom, my sister, yeah. you know, because my dad left when I was little, and they 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 helped raise me. Um, so yeah, it definitely he he definitely wanted to make an impact, and really, you know, he tells me all the time his biggest. He's proud of me for what kind of dad I am, you know, and, and that's, he always likes to hear some Claire stories, um, and that's, I don't think that happens a lot, you know what I mean, because it, mm -hmm. he takes some pride in um, how, 
how because you're developing 17 18 19 20 year olds and what kind of person they're going to be and that's we all talk about the impact that he had on all of us even and i never actually got to start for him you know uh but he was always involved when he was in the packers and uh how, how I was doing, you know, what what was, but he was good friends with Morningwood, you know, and that was, when he left, that was devastating. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure that, you know, that was really tough, and, you know, those are some things I talked to Coach Byers about today, you know, on the show as you were listening, you know, just the impact he's had on guys over the years and, you know, not necessarily coach the, the big-time athletes that have went on to, to big-time Division One universities, but, you know, guys that have came back and they're doctors and lawyers and fathers and, you know, those things, that, that's just as important, if not more important, than, you know, those, those big-time athletes you get to coach. Right, and that's, why, you know, that's why I love, I mean, all sports develop, you know, I love Wooden's, you know, pressure doesn't build character it reveals it <laughs> you know and, and you, you know the guys that did the workouts in the summer and everybody everybody, everybody wants to play game day <laughs> it, yeah. you know I, he may pra- you know i like practicing football because you know um i think as the goal he's at arizona state now he was he played in the league forever um, you know what I'm talking about? Kevin, uh, no, the Arizona, uh, who's the, who's the head coach of Arizona State now? Oh, Herm. 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 Yeah, Herm. I heard him say, you know, the thing about football, you're going to practice a lot more than you'll ever play. <laughs> you know, and Coach Reed made practice and, and hey, there's a, there's a reason why we're watching all this film. There's a reason why um, you you only get so many Saturday afternoons, uh, and you want to be as prepa- prepared as you can and take advantage of it. Uh, and that you know, I'm in sales now, and, that, and I use stuff like that all the time because you only get. We need to get uh, better internet down in Oklahoma, apparently, because we keep losing your audio. Yeah. There, you're back now. So, well, right. <laughs> I, I was, you know, I was listening to the show for, for you know, while I was waiting to come on. So I, I used up all my good internet. I <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, I right, used all the bandwidth. No, <laughs> I used no, all my data. Actually, <laughs> when football was over, I moved to Kansas City and. I didn't know a lot about Kansas City football, uh, and it actually, I lived there from 98 till just this last year, and, and learning, um, when you said that about the Kansas City football coaches, you know, any, I used to not like going to St. Louis. I mean, I, I don't mind <laughs> the Lou, but Kansas City, you know, there's just, it's kind of a small town, a big body like Tulsa. It's kind of a mix yeah. between Dallas and, 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 and you know, Tulsa is kind of a mix between <laughs> Dallas and Kansas City. Out south is more Dallas. Um, where we grew up is more like the plaza in that area. So you kind of get the best of both worlds here. With, uh, he played for me age. Uh, and his son was, we went to the Rockers me age game. And it was... I mean, we had a lot of people come in Oklahoma, but we had a standing room only. <laughs> you know, there were like eight thousand people there. I mean, it was it was rocking, man. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, they yeah they took, last they year and in. this year, the when, when they played, I mean that that was a big deal. Which you know, Coach Byers was was a big part of why that's a big deal again. You know, getting uh, you know Tim Grunhart has started coaching and. Then, you know, obviously Tim moving on to, to Miege and starting that program and, and that rebuilding process. 
Yeah, that was cool. I got to like um, Moss and, and Grunhardt and and Coach Reed kind of let you know. You know, he's always going to be an O line guy, but it's okay to be. You got to be a little mean. <laughs> and it, definitely, it, 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 you got to flip the switch. Yeah, you just no. gotta. Yeah, you gotta flip the switch, and you know, somebody was asking me the other. You know, to me, ninety percent of football is imposing your will on someone else, <laughs> whether whether it's blocking or you know, the, the wide receiver wants to run this route. The defensive guy doesn't doesn't want you to run that route. You know, and there's yeah. something about imposing your will. Uh, you learn a lot about your your, your inner your inner person. So <laughs> I'm going to give a shout out to one of my guys that's going to be a senior next year. He started as a sophomore and as a junior. You know, looking to start his senior year. Lee Marshall, listen to that quote a little bit. Sometimes it's okay to be me because I feel like Lee's a little too nice all the time. Sometimes it's okay to, to be a jerk. <laughs> your best, your best yeah. football players flip the switch. Whenever they're in their regular life, they're usually the nicest guys in the world. But when they hit that football field, different person. That's what you've got to do in football. I think. And, and my guys have seen me do that. Sometimes you need some knuckleheads. You know, so you yeah. just need yeah. some knuckleheads. Well, and there's something about, you know, you could, you got to got balance, and you can kind of let, but man, you drive him into the turf, um, and my mom, I used to always, any, anybody that got pink, I would hand, hold my. And I did, it was about 10 years ago I told her, well, you know, Mom, I knew you loved it from the stands. You're like, oh, my son is so not. But I also knew they kind of rubbed it in a little bit, like, I'm going to help you up, and then I'm going to knock you back down. You know, and that's uh, all day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Imposing hey, so, that will. So the, the guy over there in the fun. red. Um, yeah. yeah, with the uh, gray Chiefs hat on, with the vest. He's the Mizzou yeah. guy. So tell him the best thing that Mizzou ever taught you. What you. What was the best thing you ever learned at the University of Missouri? The best thing I ever learned at the University of Missouri. Um, perseverance. You know, uh, my best season was four seven and one. <laughs> And, <laughs> so like, yeah, it, and we weren't very good but, at Edison either. Uh, um, but we won for nothing. Like Missouri is the sleeping giant. Nobody, nobody wants to play. It, don't let Missouri wake up on you. Um, and uh, I just definitely we're not jinxed. <laughs> or Union. You, you or know, Bixby. Or Broken Arrow. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean like Jinx. Like oh, my, my true freshman year was the fifth down. Oh, uh, uh, okay. You know, so my true freshman year was the fifth down. You know, the kickball. The, you know, it, we can. It would, you don't get breaks a lot of time. But it, it's it, it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen. Gary, you forgot to ask our first guest one question. You can ask this guest the same question. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> so for for both of you guys, we we forgot. We always ask our guests. You know, we being in Kansas City, it's a barbecue town. <laughs> okay, so what's your go-to barbecue? We'll start with you, Coach. I'm an Arthur Bryan's guy. I can't help oh. it. I've always been and. Uh, if it wasn't for that old brown paper, I don't know what I'd do. So uh, <laughs> I, I like Arthur Bryant's brisket. That's I think awesome. their yeah. brisket is the, the best a, in the I'm city. I'm a brisket and burn ins guy. So, all right, uh, Trey, what is what is your go to barbecue when you're up here in the city? LC's. Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay. Ain't that's that's wrong a with good that. one. Wait, that, is that the second time someone Man. said that? Yeah, that's kind of a hidden gem. Yeah, yeah. not everyone knows about I mean, Their sauce is, is fire. If you, yeah. <laughs> if, if you're a little skittish, 
you know, there's bars on the windows, and the guy, you know, he's sweating, cutting your meat. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> if right. you're a little skittish, um, 